Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Today, Kola Oli Aji and me doing Abraham's husband melt the heart of his fans. To Abraham and her husband are both Christians and Kola Oli Aji and me over the years have shown consistently on the social media platform that he's a practicing Christian. In fact, you most likely see an update for him on Sundays, usually post pictures and sometimes maybe short clips of himself and his kids either heading to the church or in the church premises. But this was what led to the topic of Tony Abraham not going to Sunday services. As you know, Tony herself is a practicing Christian. She was born into a Christian home and her mother is a prophetess. She has her own church in Ibadan where she grew up. Tony has spoken fondly about this over the years. She even said when her father retired from Ibra organization in Benin in Edo State and the family moved to Ibado in Oyo State, her late father joined the mom in church. Instead of getting involved in church activities, so she's a pastor or prophetess to this day. So it seems the family does not joke with spiritual things. And from a recent update on Kalaoli Ajemi's social media platform, he shared a short clip of himself at a prayer center and wrote feeling blessed after a mighty prayer session with Prophet Gideon Obiwale Babaoyibo and Pastor Isaiah Omooli at Oriokeanu in Ibadan. And from the short clip, he could be heard worshipping God and acknowledging the pastor in this short clip and he went ahead to prostrate to the man as the man also said some word of prayers. Well, since he shared this, many of his fans, women abroad, have been praising God on the behalf of the family and confessing that this is why they love Kolawole and GME so much. As this young man does not joke with spiritual things, many Nigerians over the years have grown to love Kolawole and GME's family and look up to them. Of course, not just because of Kolaolea Jamie's spirituality, also because of the love they have for Tony Abraham. And in addition to this, the way Tony Abraham coordinates things and relates with her stepdaughter, Timdupa Jamie, whom she calls her daughter, coupled with the enviable bond between herself and her mother in law. Well, Kolaolea Jamie's family also have confessed over the years that Tony Abraham is a good wife. In fact, Kola Olea GME's sister usually prays to Abraham on an official social media platform, showing photos and some words of praise, accolades to Tony Abraham. They say she's a really good person, good woman. Even earlier this year, the man himself, Kola Olea, said that being married to a good wife would lead to progress for any man. He was speaking during an interview session shared on his YouTube channel. And he said, my wife is the one thing I love the most. Though I also love my kids and my mother, aside from God, my wife makes me happy. If one has a good wife or husband, the person does not know how much God has blessed them. If one gets married to someone that is not meant for one, there are bound to be problems. That does not mean me and my wife don't have disagreements. No relationship is perfect. The individuals involved just have to learn to tolerate one another. If one gets married to a good wife, what would make progress in life? May God help those looking for life partners to choose right. People say a wife must not be richer than a husband. But if God has destined one person to be richer than the other, one is good to go. The most important thing is that they support each other. Having love for one another is the most important thing. Our leaders would treat us better if they love us. The Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. This is part of the interview that he had and he shared this on his YouTube channel as Ellie mentioned. This seems to be a union of good homers as even to Abraham often he praises on her husband on social media and recently she appreciated her husband for giving her the freedom to excel and she wrote that the Kolaolu you have never been intimidated by anything about me. You have always accepted me for who I am. You protect me, 
you love me, adore me, and you lead me right. There is nothing you told me to do that has turned out to be a mistake. Okomi, you give me so much peace. You allow me to remain. You let me be my whole self. You enjoy my company, then I'm being me. You never try to change me or clip my wings. You push me to be me before anything else. You love our children so deeply, and I love you so much, Okomi. Or in an earlier post, she had showed the moment her husband was being serenaded by the singer Timidakolo, whom she had invited to surprise him. Of course, these movie stars have had their share with social media trolls. It has not been all rosy for them on social media, as people are always trying to pick something out of their relationship. Some even go further to spread some false information about them. All ago, the movie star had gotten himself in Lexus SUV, and people started claiming that it was Tony Abraham that got him that car. It was not only that, they started saying that she's much older than him, she's richer than him, and all those things. Well, Tony and her husband had to issue one name to online trolls who are always in their business. Uncle Aulia GME reacting to this said that this year bad and fake people will die on top by my dad because I never see anything yet. My God is at work. And for those people saying that Dwayne was richer than her husband and all that, she also addressed it on her Instagram page. And that's the, this was what she shared. I don't usually do this. I'm only going to address this once and I hope this sent you. People need to stop this mentality that famous people or the more famous ones are the richest in their family, relationships, or even friendships. Just because some people don't like to blow their hands doesn't mean they should be seen as less or incapable. I'm speaking of because I won't let people talk down on my husband, who is a very hardworking man and is doing a lot for me and the kids. Do not ridicule his hard work or what he stands for. Everything he has, he's worked for it his own sweat and he deserves it. I'm the last one of my family and you didn't think I'm the richest just because I'm famous which is far from the truth. It is 2022 please. We need to do better. And stop this ill-mannered mentality. Celebrate people without trying to pitch them against one another or ridicule their hard work or give credit to another. It is so old and needs to stop. Well, to this day, they continue to be one of the most loved and famous couple we have in the Nigerian entertainment industry. And we'll come to the end of this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.